Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to create a QR code from a URL using Adobe InDesign. First thing we're going to do is open up our web browser. We're going to highlight our URL or link. I'm going to right click it and copy. Next thing we're going to do is open up our Adobe InDesign software. In this case we are using the 2021 version. Now we are going to select and create a blank document. I'm just going to go with A4. Feel free to use other sizes as well. So now that we have our blank document open, we are going to select object. And under object, you are going to see the generate QR code option. Now once it's opened up, we get to select the QR code type. In this case, we are using a link, so we are going to choose Web Hyperlink. Now that we have selected Web Hyperlink, under URL, we are going to paste our link that we selected earlier. There we go. Now, one cool thing about Adobe InDesign is you can actually change the color of the QR code. So for this example, I'm just going to go with red. Feel free to try the other colors as well. So once you click OK, you're going to see it and right here. So once it's there, you know what? Let's resize it. So as you can see here on the right, it's only 1.18 inches. So I'm just going to right click it and let's make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to transform it and in the scale, we're going to make it 500% bigger. So I'm going to do 500% and then 500% by 500% increase. Then I'm going to click OK. Now that we have an increased QR code size, hopefully you can see it much better now. We can export the QR code. So under File, right here, so I'm going to go to File, Export. And I'm just going to save it to my desktop. I'm just going to name it QR Code. So you can also choose the file type. In this example, I'm just going to go with PNG, but you can actually choose JPEG or PDF for other formats as well. So when you're ready, just press save. And in terms of the settings here, I'm just going to change it to 300 resolution. Um, it doesn't really matter what resolution you use, but um, in this case, I'm just going to go with 300. So now that that's done, you can see it right here on the desktop. Now let us test it. So let me switch to my camera here. And you can see my laptop. I'm going to open it up. Now I'm going to grab my iPad and scan the QR code to test to make sure it is working. So it did open up the YouTube link. And if I tap it right here, we are good to go. So it works. It looks good. So I do hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Take it easy.